Okay, so this is the uh, starter solenoid out of a Cessna 172. Got replaced. Uh, I scavenged this one out of the trash. Um, I'm expecting it to be fairly similar to the marine solenoids that we've looked at before. So <clears throat> a solenoid is just a switch, right? So it's basically like a beefier relay. Um, we've had relays apart. You've got the two contacts that are pulled by a coil or one contact sometimes uh, that flip and make electrical contact. And it's just an electrically operated switch. Solenoids are the same thing. It's an electrically operated switch. You put current across here and it pulls a plunger or a noid uh, thing in here and makes contact across these two terminals. Um, <clears throat> solenoids are just beefier than relays. They can handle more current. And um, uh, they can break current. So like, you know, when you got a high current application, really the, the hard part isn't making it because the, the electricity wants to flow. It's breaking that electrical con connection and, and forcing those contacts apart. So uh, what we'll do, this thing's pretty beefy. We'll uh, try and get it apart here. So you got some tabs to possibly cut off. Um, and we'll take a look inside. Um, so the way this one was working, um, you could have them isolated. This is a little ground wire and it was hooked to the firewall. And of course, most vehicles nowadays, the uh, chassis of the vehicle or the frame is the negative ground for everything. Um, I guess back in the day, they actually did that in reverse and they would have the chassis be the positive ground for everything. I'm not really sure why they switched. Um, I mean, it really doesn't matter because, I mean, the electricity, like, uh, yeah, the electricity can't flow through you. So the fact that, that it would be off the positive terminal is really no different than it being off the negative terminal. Um, but maybe corrosion issues? I don't know. Anyway. So the way they had this wired was this was grounded out to the chassis. You would just have, or chassis, the fuselage, I guess, the firewall. Uh, you would put battery voltage in here when you turn the key to start or hit the start button, hit the, turn the key to start. And that would just put battery voltage through here. These contacts would jump up, make contact and start. Uh, the reason this one got removed is it, uh, we, we think it was sticking. Um, so these will corrode out on the inside. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see, there's not really, unlike that marine solenoid that was completely sealed, we can already see that this one's not nearly as sealed as that one. So um, I'll try and cut all these little tabs and we'll see if we can get into it. be enough get rid of that <laughs> yeah I don't know if you can hear that a little squeaky so yeah uh, as you can see no mitigation for moisture um, just some plates no sort of sealing at all so i gotta get that little nut off all right so that appears to be a little brass nut adorable all right we got some brass spacers here and i'm probably gonna have to cut off those top tabs too to get it to come the rest of the way apart, so stand by. There we go. So just a rolled steel body here. Again, no mitigation for any kind of moisture or anything like that. Uh, looks like just galvanized steel. Um, I'm actually surprised that there's not a ton of corrosion on the inside. That could be because it could have some sort of chrome or something on it. Although it doesn't really feel like it. it kind of looks like it though. Let me get a magnet just to make sure. Yeah. So that is 
steel for sure. Okay, so here we have got the contactors. So, and you can see there's tons of wear on these guys. <clears throat> so you can see that they are pitted pretty severely as we would expect, right? And same thing with the contacts on that end. So you can see the pitting. And again, that's gonna be primarily from breaking the electrical connection because you're gonna have an arc every time that happens. Uh, we've got the coil here, right? Which is just a winding of uh, wire. So this wire is gonna have basically insulation like painted on the outside of it. So that's your coil, your magnetic coil. And then this is the plunger that sits underneath here. And there was a little brass. See, I think the brass sat up on top. Right? And basically, when you pull, uh, when you send electrons through here, right? So you energize this. This little thing is going to slide up. It's going to hit. And it's going to force these contacts up to hit the top of the uh, uh, contacts up there. So it's going to, you know, force these up and make contact to engage the starter motor. And uh, I, it looks to me like this is actually just relying on weight to come back down. So <clears throat> um, when I engaged this, I wasn't getting any sort of... Uh, ka chunk ka chunk. Normally you can hear this because it's a, a fair bit of mass come up and whack the uh, bottom there. So even if you know the starter isn't uh, uh, you know the starter doesn't engage, you can at least hear the solenoid go tunk clunk up there. So like when you're trying to start your car and the battery's low and you hear that tick 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 tick, but you're not actually getting any cranking, that's that solenoid, that starter solenoid um, rattling back and forth. So you know, if the starter itself, you can kind of, you know, interpolate what's going on by the sounds that you're hearing and this, that, and the other, if you kind of understand what's what's happening. Uh, what else to say here? Um, this appears to be... Maybe nylon. There's an 8 on it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, anyway, metal terminals with copper cladding, uh, for the, for the main terminals, the, you know, normal terminals are just regular steel, looks like. Nothing special. Uh, like I said, probably a nylon housing. This appears definitely to be nylon, this, uh, little spool here. Um, and really, I don't see any particular reason why this would have failed um yeah i mean this doesn't seem to be hanging up at all um these coils do go bad there's going to be a resistance uh i mean this wire is very very thin so over time it does degrade the insulation degrades um so it's possible that the coil was not firing it's also very possible that the ground was just not making good connection um you know these are not exactly new they've probably been on the airplane since it came out of the factory and i think it was 78 or 79 so could have been a whole host of things but you know with an airplane you just kind of go ahead and replace it if it's even sort of questionable so anyway there you go starter solenoid out of a uh, cesta 172 thanks for watching